So, ceramics. In case of the ceramics, this is non-metallic. Uh, ceramics is something different, so it's of course not metallic. What bonds do we have in case of the ceramics? In case of the ceramics, we have uh, two types of bonds possible, yes? We have the ionic bonds or covalent bonds. Uh, those are very strong bonds. Uh, thanks to this, uh, ceramics can approach extremely high stiffness. However, this stiffness has a cost. This stiffness has a cost that the materials can be extremely brittle. Uh, so if we have even a very small uh, imperfections in case of the metals, in case of the ceramics, those imperfections will accumulate and will um, increase the stress in this particular point. Yes? So if you would, for example, cut it out, uh, this imperfection cannot move. Yes, In case of the metals, these imperfections can move to the some other location. Uh, and that's why we have some uh, additional uh, toughness to the metal. Yes, It has some elasticity. In case of the ceramics, this imperfection cannot move. It will stay in this place. This is one of the reasons why uh, the ceramics are so brittle. Uh, also, the ceramics uh, are generally lighter than the metals, more stiff, as we already said, uh, and more brittle. So this brittleness is the biggest problem. Otherwise, the ceramics are nearly perfect. Yes? From the perspective of the orthopedics, we have two types of the ceramics, bioinert and bioactive. So the bioinert ceramics are such that um, we do not have uh, some big, some uh, intensive chemical reactions between the ceramics uh, and our body. In case of the bioactive ceramics, we have. Yes, so in case of the bioactive ceramics, we are using them in order to increase uh, bone ingrowth to the um, ceramics. Yes, so for example, thanks to this ingrowth, we can uh, get really strong attachment to the artificial material in the body. This is the idea. Okay, thank you very much.